Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. So after 5 years and 800 videos, the channel has now reached 500,000 subscribers. Honestly, that's an insane amount. There's no way my brain can visualize 500,000 people clicking on that button. So I really just want to thank you all so much. I truly hope that my videos have helped you on your game dev journey. Honestly, back in 2018 when I started this channel, I really had no idea what to expect. I just wanted to make some fun tutorial videos, basically just sharing the knowledge that I had acquired in making my own games. By 2018, I already had 5 years of experience making these Flash games, and I also had 5 years working with Unity, so I felt that I had a pretty nice amount of knowledge that I could share with people to help them get started. Personally, I've always enjoyed making my own games, but one quote-unquote downside is that I would work on just a single project for an entire year, even though I've always been very curious and wanted to explore tons of areas, so I truly hope that my videos have been very helpful to you. But also, just for me personally, building this channel has been very mentally gratifying. Basically, this allows me to research all sorts of unique and interesting projects. Things like, for example, exploring multiplayer, or learning how to make an interesting Tetris inventory system, learning how to draw a nice mesh, making a weapon attachment system, making a racing minigame, or working with machine learning, making a house building system, playing around with some interesting cloud-based mechanics, researching Unity Dots, researching ASR pathfinding, how to do some animation rigging, or making a unique crafting system. These are all things that have been very satisfying for me personally to learn, and hopefully also very useful to you as well. I probably would have not explored all of these unique areas if it was just by myself making games. Now if you want one tip for how to actually learn something, the best tip I can give you is learn it and then try to teach it to someone. Doing that means you truly need to understand the topic in order to be able to teach someone. And for myself, making all of these 800 videos has massively helped supercharge my own learning, and of course, the reason why I can keep doing all this is because of all of you. This channel is very much a two-way street. Without you here, this channel would not exist. So really, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for subscribing and watching the videos. I truly hope the videos have helped you on your game dev journey. Then on top of the 500k, which was already a huge achievement, on top of that, last week was Unity's Unite conference where they announced the winners for their Unity awards. These awards are voted on by the community, so because of that, I value them quite a lot. And a lot of you voted for me, so I ended up winning three awards. I was hoping to win the best tutorial award. That's my main focus and earlier this year I made my free complete course, which took a ton of work, but thankfully a lot of people really enjoyed it, so I was hoping to win that award specifically for that course, but I was definitely not expecting to win the other two. All of you voted for Dinky Gardens for best devlogs. I'm really proud of that game and those devlogs. I think that playlist is really great for showcasing the entire game dev journey from absolutely nothing to a published game with sales numbers on Steam. But I did not expect to win simply because all the other nominees, those are all equally excellent. Any one of these could have won and I would have said, yep, that does make sense. Jonas's devlogs are always very entertaining and Thronefall is a huge mega indie hit. Then Atru the Dark Wild. This one is a really visually unique automation game. Manavelli's devlogs are always very entertaining, excellently edited. So definitely go ahead and check out all of these if you enjoy watching devlogs. And the other category that I won was best live streamer. Now I always try my best when I live stream. I try very hard to engage with everyone while also trying to do some work. I try to make the live streams entertaining and educational, but I don't really do them very often so that is why I was not expecting this one. If people voted then maybe that means that people would like them more, so I really need to figure out some way to make them a more regular thing. If you're looking for someone who streams pretty much every single day then check out Lana Lux on Twitch. She's been working on her game Strain for the past few years, and if you like some story focused adventure games then give it a wishlist on Steam. So really, thank you all so much for all your votes for these awards. I'm working on so many things right now to continue being worthy of your votes. I'm currently busy making tutorials on all sorts of topics. I'm busy making interesting videos with new formats, busy researching for future free complete courses, busy updating my own game and making some tutorials on it. So definitely stay tuned for lots of awesome stuff to come in the future. This has been a really great five year journey and I'm certainly looking forward to five years more, learning tons of stuff, improving my own skills and helping you on your game dev journey. So thanks so much for 500k subs, thank you for the 3 Unity Awards, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.